This is The Roxanne Show. Get ready. It's time to rise. Everyone wants to feel like they're here with deep purpose, right? Like they're here contributing their, you know, that their life has meaning, right? That's that's really what it comes down to. You want to feel like your existence provides a sense of meaning. And, you know, I'll insert this for fun. Personally, I've never asked that question, the proverbial, what's the meaning of life? And, you know, as I would get over, older in my life, like, I, you know, and, and the question would come up and you'd hear about it. I'm like, how come I've never asked myself that? Like, I've genuinely never been interested in the question. It's never been provocative to me at all, right? And I think the reason for this is because I'm like, well, how do you even narrow it down to one thing? First of all, meaning is subjective. So what what are we like? Is it, or is it a competition? Like whose idea is going to be the best? That doesn't work. Right. And then I think to myself, you know, and especially in the nature of which I live and have lived, how is it one thing? It's not going to be one thing. Certainly not for me, a woman who honors my evolution, encourages it, embraces it, like my purpose, you want to know what my life purpose is? Like might seem like because I'm so passionate about my business and yes, there is a big powerful mission that is totally driving me every day, every single day in my life that is derived from my business. So there is a sense of purpose that I am living with that's derived from my business. But I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what comes before that even my greatest purpose is to continuously support and allow my personal self-expression to evolve. And I touched on this earlier because I've learned, it's just for me anyways, how, what I believe, that when I study my life, I'm like, man, because you've always lived from your most authentic self and you've allowed yourself to taste, try you know, touch the flame. Ooh, that hurt. Like, oh, let me try this. And now I'm growing over here and now I'm growing over here and now I'm growing over here because I've always allowed myself to do this. It's just put me in this position where I've really connected with my gifts, knowing like what my gifts are and also deeply knowing what fucking matters to me. So then I can then decide where I want to invest my life right? My energy, my focus, my interest, right? So because I allow myself to continuously evolve and whatever that means, it means like wherever we're going, we're going. I'm living in this city. Now I'm in this country. I'm in this career. Now I'm over here. Like it doesn't matter if it's what my heart is saying yes to, then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to respect my heart and I'm going to investigate and then I'm going to, you know, put action towards it and, and allow myself to to live into that expression and allow that expression to take me wherever it is that I'm supposed to be going, you know? So how could I have one meaning? I mean, the meaning for me is, you know, um, or sorry, the purpose is just to continuously allow that process for me to have, for, for, for that, allow that process to unfold for me. And the coolest part is that because I have done that and I continue to do that, um, the side effect of that is that I'm actually here contributing at large to the fucking world, getting the most incredible, incredible messages from so many of you. And I'll just say thank you with all my heart straight to camera to, to those of you who, you know, leave me the comments on YouTube and, the, and come into my DMs and tell me that your lives are literally changing from the content that I'm sharing, you know, the messages and all that. I don't take that lightly. That's a big fucking deal, right? But that's coming as a result of me being true to myself. Do you understand what I'm saying? So my purpose then, if I want to keep doing that and do it even more and even more, then I need to honor me being true to myself. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. So let's see if I can recap this. Number one, your purpose cannot come before you are clear on who you are and you operate from your authentic self, period. Number two, you don't have to have one focus purpose. You can have, you know, 
this is my purpose right now. I feel super driven and inspired and I'm getting after this purpose right now. And then a couple of years later, your purpose shifts and evolves and that's perfectly fine and beautiful and badass. Number three, it does not need to be press worthy or philanthropic It for, you know, for it to have meaning. It just needs to be genuinely meaningful to you. And if it happens that it ends up being press worthy and philanthropic, that's fucking awesome too. Number four, you cannot create your purpose um, with this ask for external validation to make it meaningful. It has to be genuinely meaningful to you. And if and when external validation comes in after that, great. But it, it cannot, you, you don't create the meaning through the external validation because then it's not true. It's not true. You're just not being true, right? And number five is you can have more than one life purpose, purposes, right? So hopefully this fucking eased things up for you <laughs> on this subject. And, you know, if you need to play this back at another point, I mean, save the, save the episode and, you know, and, and, and remind yourself of, of these things. Like we don't need to add extra pressure, unnecessary pressure. Life already provides enough pressure, you know, and if you're really reaching for great things in your life, there's going to be pressure on that path too. Right. But we want to be very discerning about the you know, unnecessary pressure that we all, myself included, just unconsciously fucking put on ourselves at times. So hopefully I helped you with that, like ease some of that and maybe, you know, just set you up even just to be closer to whatever your purpose and purposes um, are in life. I would love that. Thanks so much for listening, you guys. Please like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to leave us a five-star rating and review. 